Hi, welcome to Sunnyside Horse Training. My name is Christina Bailey. I specialize in starting, problem solving, and horsemanship coaching. Today, I wanna to discuss balancing a horse's brain through focus-based groundwork. So in this video, I am using Jax, and this is when she first came into training. And I actually did my last video on a previous part of this session where I was working on getting her to focus on me by using the flag and getting her to come to me. This is later in the session where I am asking her to continue focusing on me and allowing me on that right side. She's very guarded on that right side and you can see how she's blocking me and doesn't want me petting on her. And the main focus here is just to get her to relax and allow me to be on that right side while remaining focused on me and not being distracted by everything else going on around her. And every time she gets distracted by something around her, she runs away from me because she can't think about two things at once, me and being okay with me on her right side and whatever has gotten her attention. So the key to getting her to relax and allow me on that right side is to start with focusing her mind, but then also help her realize that it's not a bad thing for me to be on that right side because I'm not being aggressive with her and I'm not pushing her. And if I put her on a rope, I could make her let me be on that right side. But again, I don't want to be aggressive about it and make her despise me being on that right side even more. So I want her to connect with me a little bit and I'm using the flag to regain her focus like I did in my last video. And then I ask her to let me come to that right side. And if she wants to move, I try to move with her and ask her to let me be on that side without being too pushy. A little release when she relaxes, walk away and let her know she did the right thing and let her follow me. So there you see she gave me a little pet on the right side and I walked away there and this is a minute later when she's relaxing again and let me pet on her and if I put this whole session in the video it would be over an hour long so I'm just trying to get the highlights here and every time she gets distracted there I remove my hand so that I'm not scaring her and pushing her away from me give her a release see she dips her head refocuses on me slightly I want to see lots of head lowering lip licking like she's doing right now and that's a good sign she's starting to relax and be willing to let me on that right side but she's still very distracted by everything going on around her so I give her a minute, just let her breathe and relax, let her know that that was the right thing, and give her the chance to refocus on me. She goes to walk off, just a little wiggle with the flag, and she comes right back to me. And that's what I'm looking for, is to not need a lot to regain that attention span. Right back up. Give her a pet. She gets distracted. I'm asking for her attention right there. Wiggle the flag a little bit. Once I get it back, I put my hand back there. Then I'm not frightening her when she's distracted. And that's a good place to stop. Thanks for watching, and as always, if you have any questions or comments, shoot me a message. Look forward to seeing you next time.